hello again. It is Miss Kendra from Learn and Play Montessori School, and I'm so excited to see my friends again today. How are you doing? Really great. So much tired. That's okay. Let's wake up, wake up, wake up. And I've had a really awesome, exciting day. Not only because it's Friday, but today at school, we also had a fire drill. Now, the last time we had a fire drill was last month because we do it every month. We're always wanting to stay on top of it, make sure we have a excellent safety plan. So, at school, when I heard the fire alarm go off, what do we do? What do we need to do if we hear a fire alarm go off? Do we need to clean up our mess? We gotta get out. You hear a fire alarm? We gotta get out. Walking feet. Safe walking feet, right? Yeah, so in an emergency, like at school, we hear the fire alarm, and I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna get all of our friends to line up, so we're ready to go. We're gonna count, make sure everyone is here. And in every classroom, we have our map. And this shows us where to go in case of a fire or an emergency. The fastest way to get out. And always grab, your teacher will always grab the emergency bag. So we have all the information we need and any first aid. So we are always ready and always practicing at school to make sure we are safe and ready for absolutely anything. Are you ready for anything? Yeah? Maybe at home this weekend we can double check, make sure we are ready. We can check for fire alarms in every room in the house. We can check for an emergency plan. Did you talk to your family? Where are we gonna go if something happens? And we can find a bag to put important things in that we can grab and go. Because when you hear a fire alarm, you need to get out fast, right? So we need something to grab and go. Okay, thank you for listening to our safety spiel. I know. You guys are ready for the calendar? Because it's, what day is today? Friday. Today is Friday. And that means yesterday was Monday. No, today is Friday. Yesterday was Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. Tomorrow is Monday. No. Yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. Tomorrow is Monday. No, Saturday. Saturday, yes. And can you tell me what day it is? Yesterday was uh, the 17th. Today, the 18th. And can you tell me what month it is? September. We are in the month of September. And the year 2020. Exactly right. Let's say the date all together. Today is Friday, September 18th, 2020. And next Friday is September 25th. And we hope to have all of our friends who will be joining us in October enrolled and ready to go by September 25th. So let us know if you'll be joining us I'm really excited to do some more learning with you and we'll be ready to go. Now, let's sing our phonics song. Let's sing our phonics song. Why so many serious faces? We smile when we sing, right? Yeah, okay, ready? 
One, two, three. Do you know these letter sounds? Do you know these letter sounds? They will help you learn to read. They will help you learn to read. Apple, apple, a, a, a. Baby, baby, ba, ba, ba. Cookie, cookie, k, k, k. Dolly, dolly, d, d, d. Elbow, elbow, eh, eh, eh. Flower, flower, Garden, garden, g, g, g. Hammer, hammer, ha, ha, ha. Igloo, igloo, eh, eh, eh. Jelly, jelly, ja, ja, ja. Kitten, kitten, k, k, k. Lion, lion, oh, oh, oh. Monkey. <laughs> Necklace, necklace, mm, mm, mm. Ostrich, ostrich, ah, ah, ah. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pa, pa, pa. Quarter, quarter, qua, qua, qua. Rabbit, rabbit, er, er, er. Scissors, scissors, Tiger, tiger, t, t, t. Undershirt, undershirt, ah, ah, ah. Vacuum, vacuum, v, v, v. Window, window, wa, wa, wa. X ray, x ray, x, x, x. Yo, 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 ya, ya, ya. Zebra, zebra. Z -z -z -z. Very good, thank you. Thank you for singing with me. You ready to make some words? We know all those letters and all those letter sounds. So let's use all of that knowledge to make some words. You ready? Okay, let's do it. I have my lined paper. Let's put our name up top first. Miss Kendra. And it's the 18. These directions say practice writing letters and words. So later we can practice writing our letters by themselves if we want to. Let's make some words. So I brought my movable alphabet again. So I'm gonna set these out so we can make some words. Maybe you are thinking of some words to make right now. Maybe you can think of some words that we made and we traced and wrote when we did our consonant, vowel, consonant booklets. Do you remember those words? I know there are so many. Do you remember some? Oh, you do? What do you, which words do you remember? Ran, yeah. Good one, and car, yes. Cat, I like your ideas. And all of our letters out, we're ready to make some words. So for the first word, Let's see here. Who said cat? You said cat? Okay. Let's think of, what is that beginning sound of cat? What letter are we looking for? K, k, cat. Is that a T? Hmm? K, k, k. 
Our letter C, k, at, cat, a, 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 a. Letter A, excellent. And what is the ending sound for cat? T, t. A letter T. You guys are really fast. Cat, k, a, t. Let's write that on our paper. At cat. And now we can put our letters back where they go and we can think of another word. What about a what if if you're not feeling so happy, maybe you are feeling so hmm, sad. Yeah, how do we write sad? What is that first letter sound? S sad. Her? Yeah, letter S makes us sad. Ah, ah, ah. A, yeah. What is the ending sound of sad? S -a -d, d, d. Letter D. Let's bring our letter, just one, letter D. S -a -d. Sad. We can practice writing sad. S -a -d. Awesome. Let's do two more words. How about, where do you sleep? Do you sleep outside? Under the stars? Do you sleep in the laundry? You sleep in the bed, the bed. Yeah, me too. Let's write Bed. What is that beginning sound? B -e bed. B bed. A letter B. That's right. What is the in the middle there? B ed. E e e. E. Yes. Bed. D d. -d. D, yeah. B, E, D. Bed, bed. Let's write bed on the line. B, E, D. Bed. Now, you remember our consonant, vowel, consonant booklets. What letters here in bed? Which ones are a vowel? Which letter is a vowel? This one? This one? Yeah, E is a vowel. And which letters are consonants? B and D. Yeah. Okay, friends, let's do one more word together. If you want to have something to drink, you're ready for some water, what do we drink our water out of? We can put our water in the cup. In the cup? Yes, in the cup. How do we write cup? What is that beginning sound? That's a Z. Z? Ah, no. Not a Z. Thank you, friends. Not the Z. Which, what letter makes a K? That's right. The letter C. Cup. Uh, uh, uh. What makes that sound? What letter? Uh, uh. Letter U. You're right. Up. 
Letter P. Letter P. K. A. P. You said, what is this line? This line shows us how the letter goes. The line goes on the bottom. You see, like, sometimes this letter P looks a little bit like the letter D, but the line goes on the bottom. That's how we know to tell the difference. Yeah. This word is what? Cup. Cup. Let's write that word on the line. Uh, cup. Good job, my friends. And we can make any words that we want. We can keep trying and practicing. And if you're ready, we can make really big words. Now I'm gonna use. I'm gonna clean up my movable alphabet and get ready for the next activity. Now, I am feeling responsible. I'm responsible for my own self and my own materials. So, I am going to treat them kindly because I'm responsible for taking care of them. Who is supposed to take care of my things, Miss Kendra's things? You? Are you responsible for my things? My mess? Who is responsible for my things and my mess? Me! Yeah! Just like you clean up your own work and your own mess, Miss Kendra cleans up her own work and her own mess every day. Because we are big and smart and able and kind and life is so good and so we treat other things and other people so good too. I am going to stay here with me. I'm going to get my math worksheet. Do you recognize this? Where'd all the numbers go, right? Yeah, so we need to write in the numbers from one to 100. So can you use the hundreds board that we made together on Monday to practice and check your work? You can. Awesome. It looks like this, right? We made this together from one all the way to 100. And so I'm going to turn it over. And now I'm going to do it. Later, after I'm all done, I'm going to look again to check. What is the first number here? One. And then what? Two. And we're going to keep going all the way to number one hundred. You guys are awesome. That's some big numbers and we're doing lots of counting. And later we're going to use all the numbers that we learned to do bigger things. So I'm going to finish this later. Let's take a look at these equations here. I'm going to write my name up top. The date. And let's read these directions. Solve the equation by adding the top number and the bottom number. Okie dokie. So, I'm going to close my eyes and pick one. You ready? What is it? 15 plus 
2. 15 plus 2. So, we can use some counters to help us. If you don't have counters, well, that's okay. We could make some on our own. So, 15 plus 2. Let's make 15 counters and then 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 dots. Plus how many? Two. One, two. So when we're adding, we are putting together. Let's count all of these together and see our answer. We know this is 15, 16, 17. 15, 16, 17. The answer, 15 plus two is 17. Right, we can add two and five together. That makes a seven. And one and zero, nothing, one. And this is awesome practice for my friends who are enjoying their math. And let's go ahead and sing a song. Who's ready to sing a song? Okay, if you're ready to sing a song, go ahead and stand up with me. Maybe we have a chair to tuck. Let's tuck our chair. And let's sing a song. So. Today, again, we are gonna sing our Water, Land, and Air song. This is by Music with Mar, okay? Let's sing together. One, two, three. Stand up, look around you. There's water, land, and air. Look, look, it's everywhere. Swim in the water. Swim, swim, walking on land. Walk, walk. Flying in the air, swimming in the water, swim, swim, walking on land, walk, walk, flying in the air. Look, look, it's everywhere. Now be seated in your chair. We'll learn about water, land, and air. You can't see air, it can be hot or cold, it can push things, that's what I'm told. Water is wet, the air pushes it around, the land absorbs the water when it touches the ground. Water is wet and land is dry, air can't be seen but it makes up the sky. It's all a big cycle, it's how they work together, making things grow and making the weather. Stand up, look around you, there's water, land, and air. Look, look, it's everywhere. Swim in the water, swim, swim. Walking on land, walk, walk. Flying in the air, look, Look, it's everywhere. Awesome, friends. Thank you so much. Oh, man, I really wish I could just do some stretches and relax a little bit. What could I do? Is it, do you know anybody who's really good at stretches? Yeah, Miss Kelly. And guess what, my friends? She's here with us today. Hello, Miss Kelly. Hi, Miss Kendra and all my friends out there. Are you guys ready to do some stretches yes. with me? Let's stand up so we can do our stretches. I know you guys were just dancing for your song. That was super fun. So let's put our hands together over top of our head to start our first stretch, okay? Let's take a deep breath. 
Good job. That air is filling up your belly. And we're going to bend to one side. Keep taking those deep breaths. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Good job. One more deep breath. Good job. Now we'll come back up. And we'll go the other way. Take another deep breath in. Good job. One more deep breath. Good job. And stand up nice and tall again. Bring those arms down. Let's do some shoulder rolls. How should we move our shoulders forward, up towards our ears, and then back down? Let's do this a couple more times. Shoulder roll with me. One more, ready? Woo, up, back, and down. Good job. Next, we're gonna put our hands together behind us. Can you do that? Can you put your hands behind you? Good job. Okay, and we're going to bring them up as far as we can, and maybe we even bend forward if we want. Good job. Do you feel that nice stretch in your shoulders? Awesome. Let's take a deep breath here. Good job. I take another deep breath. I'm going to stand up. Stand up with me. Good job, you guys. And relax those shoulders. Woo. Good job. Let's do one more shoulder stretch. We need to get our shoulders moving, right? When we're sitting all day, we're working on all our math and stuff. Sometimes our shoulders kind of get rolled forward. They might get a little tired. So let's stretch them out. We're going to bring one of our hands across our body. Okay? Almost like we're going to touch the other shoulder. And then we're going to use our other hand to hold it there, right? We might hold it at the elbow. We can use both of our elbows together. And we'll take a couple deep breaths here, okay? In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Good job. You feel that stretch in your shoulder? Awesome. Another deep breath. Okay, relax those shoulders. Shake those arms out. And let's do the other one, shall we? So we'll bring the other one across. And then we'll hold it there. Take a deep breath. One more deep breath. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Good job. All right. Does that feel good? Do you want to do some neck stretches? Let's do a couple neck stretches. So let's bring our head down towards the floor, and back up. I know like we're saying yes. We enjoy stretching, we love singing, we love doing our math, we love Miss Kendra, and all of our teachers, right? They're so nice. So let's keep moving our head nice and slow, okay? Don't go too fast. Move it nice and slow, okay. Let's bring it back up, face forward. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna bring our ear to our shoulder. So I'm gonna do my left ear first. Can you do that with me? Bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Just go in sideways. Good job. Take a deep breath. One more deep breath here. Good job. And then bring that head back up. And go the other way. I'm bring my right ear, my right shoulder now. We'll take two deep breaths. Ready? That was one. One more. Good job. Thank you guys so much for doing some stretches with me. I hope that you got some relaxing moments there and you can continue the rest of your classes with Kelly. That was wonderful, Miss <laughs> Kelly. Thank you so much. No problem. And if we haven't already, we're going to see Miss Kelly again today in our Zoom classes. We're going to be doing some yoga. Some yoga. Sounds good? Awesome. That's awesome. It's so awesome. It's so awesome. Let's take a look at our next worksheets. Now, I'm going to get a mat, but let's talk about what you have at home right now. At home, you will find 
these worksheets. Come on over, let's take a good close look. You're gonna see your water, land, and air. And we are going to color these different kinds of transportation. And then we're gonna cut them out and sort below our pictures. So I'm gonna show you some that have already been made for us at school. They are not the same exact pictures, very close, however. I'm gonna get my mat ready to go. And we're looking at transportation today. Transportation. What is transportation? Yeah, it's something that helps you get from one place to another. And there's lots of different kinds. There's lots of different kinds because there's lots of different things on our, on our earth, right? What are the three things our earth is made out of? Water, land, and air. That's right, water, land, and air. Just like our paper has water, land, and air. Today, I'm going to use my water, my land, and my air to do some sorting of transportation, things that help us move from one place to another. Now let's think, we, have you ever been in a car before? You have? Yeah, me too. Now did you drive that car, did mom or dad drive that car in the water? In the, in the rain is okay, yeah, yeah. In the, did they go into the lake? Into the ocean? No, no. A car doesn't go into the lake and the ocean, not in the water, right? Where does a car drive? In the air. You drive your car in the air? Oh my. Well, good luck. I drive my car on the land. We drive our cars on the land. What is something that we can drive in the water? Airplane? What can we drive in the water? A boat. Yes, we can drive a boat in the water. And what about the air? What can we fly in the air. Do you want to take a train and fly in the air? Whoa, there's no wings. No way. What do you fly in the air? An airplane? A helicopter? Yes, those are transportation that we can find in the air. Let's take a look at these cards here. Come on over and we will sort where these belong. Where does a tractor travel? Water, land, or air? Land, that's right. What about a helicopter? Is a helicopter gonna be in the water? No, land? Air, it flies in the air. How about this airplane? Water? Land? Land? Air, air. And how about this next card? Is a hot air balloon? going to be in the water, the land, or the air? The air, thank you. Let's do a few more together. Where is a bus gonna be driving? In the water, 
I sure hope not. In the land? Sounds about right. Yeah, the bus will drive on the land. Where's a boat going to be? In the air? In the water? Yeah, a boat is going to go in the water. How about, let's do this last one, train. Where is a train going to be moving? In the water? Land? Yeah, in the land. Are you ready to make a train art with me? You are? Okay, let's clean up these materials so we can make our train art. I hope my friends have some scissors and paper in different colors. Okay, I am going to roll up my mat and I'm ready to make some art. So today we're making a kind of transportation that goes on land. So here, we're gonna make a train that has all the letters in our name. And forgive me, I'm going to go a little bit speedy, okay? Okay, so I've got my big paper, I've got my blue, I've got some things to be, some smoke, and I pre-cut my wheels, some small wheels and some big wheels. And I decided that because there are so many shapes in the engine, I will help myself and I will do some drawing. So, I see the engine is like this shape. So I'm going to cut out this shape here to start my engine. So my engine is so big, I'm gonna let it hang off the paper just a wee bit. And I'm gonna glue it to the paper. And next, I'm going to put the window for my train conductor. And I had a square, I cut out the window. And because I don't want to waste any paper, I'm gonna use the rest of this paper to make the shape I see on the top of my train engine. When I look at the top of my train engine, I see this shape. You know this shape? Trapezoid, yeah. I'm gonna put it on top. And I wanna lower this down just a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And now I know that there is a rect a triangle on the end of my train. So I am going to cut a little piece off of here so it is a triangle shape. Next our train is a steam engine. So I drew this little part to cut out and glue on my paper. Sometimes when I see lots of little shapes, I draw them first and then I try to cut. Okie dokie. And the steam is gonna come out of there. And next, we need however many squares are in your name. Kendra has six letters, so I have six 
squares. Now I'm going to put some glue across for all of my squares. Well, my first, my K is gonna be pink, and then I'm gonna have yellow, and a brown, and a white, and a red. Oh, one more. You know what? No problem at all. We add another one. And now, let's add some letters. K, E, N, D, R, A. This is the Kendra train. Everyone needs to get on this train. <laughs> and let's put on some wheels. Are you guys gonna come on the Kendra train with me? All right, it's a big party. And we are gonna talk about water, land, and air. So would you like to come? Okay, I'll see you there. We've got some, some wheels, we'll just put the one there. You guys, it's beautiful already. And later, I'm gonna add some terrain tracks down below if I want to. And what comes out of a steam engine? Steam, you can use clouds, you can use cotton balls. I'm gonna move my cotton ball, make it into little pieces so I can have lots of steam. Or we could use some shapes to be steam as well. My friends, thank you so much for doing this art with me. And if I went too fast, you can pause Miss Kendra and Play, press play on Miss Kendra when you're ready. And then I'll see you guys on the Kendra train. Sounds good? <laughs> okay, my friends, it is Friday. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.